Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Get It Straight. Remember, Get It Straight is a clear understanding of issues. Today, we're looking at downtown and uptown, downtown and uptown, and other issues. So, uh, what do you think downtown is? Let me put this question to you first. What do you think downtown is? I asked this question, or I posed this question to somebody some few months back. And you know what he told me? He said, downtown is when you come from uh, top of a hilly place and then descend. That's a downtown. No, that's not a downtown. Well, downtown is a central business district of a city. What is a central business uh, district of uh, 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 New York, for instance? It's Manhattan. So the central business district or downtown of New York in the United States of America is Manhattan. Now, how about Ghana for Ghanaians who are watching and listening? What is the downtown of Accra? The downtown of Accra is Okaishi. I hope Ghanaians, you, you know what uh, Okaishi is, where it is located. It's a central business district of a city. So downtown Accra, if you announce to someone you are going to downtown Accra, you are going to the central business district of Accra, which is Okaishi. Well, so that is downtown. Now, how about uptown? When you live uptown, you live not just where the place is way up on a hill or a mountain. No, that's not it. If you live uptown, you live in residential area, in a well-demarcated residential area for that matter. That is uptown. Jokingly, sometimes uh, people would say, well, I'm going up uptown and they mean they're going out of this country they're going to a foreign country so where have you been all this time i've been uptown it means his travel out of ghana for instance his travel out of uh, the country where he lives no but uptown is the residential places it doesn't matter how sophisticated the residential places but it's the residential places and then downtown is the central business district. You can have all the kinds of wares that you want to buy there. You can have all the kind of offices that you have there in downtown. Even that, that is when you even go to Okanshi, which is the central business district of Accra. You have all these areas there. It's like a commercial hub of a city or a town. So that's downtown. And I hope you remember that also regarding uptown. Now, in Ghana, we have to cite examples so we'll be familiar with them. In Ghana, we have what we call Chalewote. Chalewote is a, is a language in, in, in Ghana. Uh, it's a Ghana language. When you say Chalewote, you say Chale, let's go. Chale here means a friend uh, or my colleague. Come, let's go. But Chalewote refers to a particular kind of footwear. Chalewote. Now, if you entered a different communication domain and you mentioned Chaliwati, people might not understand you. So get to know this clearly, that Chaliwati is supposed to be flip-flop. F-L-I-P, F-L-O-P, flip-flop. Can you go over that again? Yes, that was correct. Flip-flop. For Ghanaians, it is Chaliwati from the western region to the Bono to the central region to Greater Accra. We all know that kind of footwear as Chaliwati. But the people who do not know of that, please, it is flip-flop. So when you happen to meet an European, for instance, who does not understand certain words that are used in our communication domain here, and you refer to that particular footwear as uh, Chaliwati, hey, how do you think you understand that? So that's flip-flop for him. Flip-flop. We have all kinds of uh, other associated names with Chaliwati flip-flop in Ghana. Yeah, there are certain types of flip-flops that are called Akamelast, but this one is particularly Ghanaian. Akamelast Chaliwati is a type of Chaliwati. But know that it is flip-flop. F-L-I-P, F-L-O-P. Flip-flop. Well, the last point is about pensioner and pensioner. Pensioner, P-E-N-S-I-O-N-E-R. And then pensioner, P-E-N-S-I-O-N-E-E-R. 
pensioner and pensioner. Who do you think a pensioner is? A pensioner is the one who, who pensions the retired person. Let me make it very clear. Now, if you have retired from a certain job that you were doing, and uh, from that particular day when you stopped working and you were no more going to work and you were going to be paid pension, you see, the one, your, your, your employer is your pensioner. Your employer is your pensioner. Now, you go on a pension and you are the pensioner. So we have pensioners association, not pensioner association. The pensioner association will have to do with the employers, right? If they have Ghana Employers Association, well, that's the pensioner association. But those who have gone on pension are pensioners. So the next time you are making reference to your daddy as a pensioner, think about it again. Is he a pensioner? Well, if he's a pensioner, then he stopped working officially. His work engagements are curtailed in a way. He might run a few, you know, consultancies one here and there, but he is a pensioner. Pensioner. He's gone on pension. The one who pensions him is the pensioner. That's his employer. Pensioner. So let's run through a few of the things that we have done today. Downtown and uptown. Do you remember downtown? Yes. Downtown, we said, is the central business district of a town or a city. Central business district of a town or city. That's downtown. And uptown is at the residential area. Or uptown, the, uh, the residential areas of a community, of an area. Right? Downtown, uptown. And then the last that we talked about was pensioner and pensioner. If your daddy has been pensioned, he's a pensioner, not a pensioner. The one who pensioned your daddy is a pensioner. That's his employer. Do you get the difference so clear? Well, that's all time I'll allow for this edition of Get It Straight. Thanks for your time and cheers.